Hi guys, welcome back to part two of The Bard's Tale. Well, I can't remember where we were up to. <laughs> I can't remember what we were doing next. I think I was I ended it in the, the village where we all started off. So... Right, let's get on with it. Oh. Prepare to die. I am Organ, the Chosen One. Nothing will stop me from my quest to save the princess and drive the evil from this land. Have at you. Oh, that's going to ruin your day. Another chosen one? Off to save the princess? I'm just passing through, my friend, just passing through. <laughs> ah, a coward, is it? Wise choice, friend. But you'll not be going anywhere with all them fine items you carry. Oh, right, lads! <laughs> I've got a live one! Come and see! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay, what have I got it up? Come on, get him. Uh oh, possibly been cursed. Not less than me. it's a protection sort of spell. Either way, I've got rid of them all. Oh, hello. Excellent. Singing for the sheep, you crooning coward. Fair enough. Come on, you pansy. I'm still going to answer your hideout. Well, it's tough. They are giving it loads, though. No more! No more! Don't kill me! Uh, I was only kidding about your sister. Uh, I'll come with you. Put your hands behind your back. Now what? You won't be trying any of them preversions, will you? I'm making sure you can't... Get him, we were working in that artist's way. I'll just cut you off. Steve coming off it. But you're the one who let me go. And now you're taking me back? Are you bored out of your skull or just wrong in the head? 
Ow! Stop hitting me! Would you prefer I start stabbing you? Now shut your mouth and come with me. With Kettle in tow, the bard moved off, hoping oh, to avoid the we leave. and bring his prisoner back down. And we'll just search this place. Shield. Shield. Excellent. Oh, let's get rid of the spiders. You can see it's slowly starting to get there. Angry. Right, let's take him back. Let's just save just to be on the safe side. Because with the bows, oh, get out of it. Right, let's get the rest of these buggers and get out of here. Jesus, it's taken a bit to kill Take these back. buggers. Hey, look, it's only him left. Excellent. Ah. I can't come back the way I came. <sighs> right, okay. So we are going to have to go all the way around. Didn't think of that, did I? Right, so we'll have to go down. Let's go across this way first. Oh, made mince meat of that. Brilliant. Ah, another victory for me. 
Because I'm not the easiest to kill this thing. It's taken an absolute week to kill him. Second, oh yes, another tree. Some more goodies. Right, what's this here? Ah. Welcome to Pisky's practical batter made transport, transport, transport thingy to the future. Oh, excuse me. I don't smell anything. Wait, you're the bomb, right? My brother told me about you. What did he say? Oh yeah, he said the barb. Hey, Kettle, what are you doing here? You know, Knarf is looking for you. Knarf fights with barb. <laughs> I can make up a song about you too. Listen, I, uh, I don't have time for the weapons. Perhaps you could just take me across the river. Taking the barb across the river, that was it. Hey, that. Now what was the special barb here? Seeing as I'm in a bit of a hurry and uh, you're not in much condition to sail, why don't I just take that ferry across on my own? Oh, you can't do that. Too dangerous, dangerous the Pisky River is for the novice. But since you're such a nice person, I'll take your over for free. Just don't tell my brother. Shh. Nice of him. Right, taking no chances. Let's save it again. Can't catch a break. Possession, my exquisite eagle charm. It wasn't me, Snarf. It was this beggar right here who stole it. I was bringing him back to you when he knocked me over the head, took it from me person, and tied me up. Hold on a minute. I never saw this thing before in my life. I found it in Kettle's house when I came to take him back to Houghton. <sighs> the perplexing problem is, if I were to let you go, my fear of friends here would consider me a coward. You see, they, they might even get into their noggins the notion that they could take over this bloodthirsty band. So, they're going to bash your brains and purloin your property. Nothing personal, you understand. If there's one thing I hate, it's Colonel Trow with delusions of grandeur. Quick, cut me loose so I can fight! Don't betray my trust. He 
give my regards to the sheriff, you simpleton. <laughs> Kettle, of course, took the opportunity to run Cuck. away. Cuck. Great. Despite the bard's warm and shining personality, people continue to run from him like the plague. Perhaps he would one day learn that in order to keep friends near, a man such as himself needed to keep them tied. <laughs> if only I could find a sock big enough to put in that mouth of yours. Though Fluff had escaped, the bard had the unmistakable feeling that they would meet. Of course, that's how these things always work. If they just stayed around and took their beating like a man for the first time, they'd save me a lot of trouble. Well, I don't know what they are. You know what? I'm just going to run from the... Let's leave. <laughs> I suppose if I go and face the music with the sheriff. The bard was no longer welcome in the town of Houghton. Not until he returned with the villainous kettle. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So I have got to basically... Oh, blast. I need to find that scoundrel. Wondering if he'd have gone back to his hideout. I suppose he could have. So, you know what? I think I might just save this one here. And we'll call it a day on this one at the moment. There we go, save complete. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, we've managed to get the scoundrel, but just like the idiot I am, I let him loose. I'll have to keep him tied up next time. Right, so that's who we still need to find. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I'll catch you all again. Take care.